Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Cecilia, right? Yes, I'm Cecilia. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cecilia. Nice, nice to meet you too. Good. And Cecilia, tell me, what do you do? I am a social worker. Oh, okay. And where do you work, Cecilia? In the Supreme Court of Justice. Mm -hmm. yes. Excellent. How long have you worked there? Um, 18 years old. Mm, a long time. Yes, a long time. 18 years. Okay. Yes. That's great. Hello, Carla. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. And you? Fine. And tell me, Carla, what do you do? Uh, I am a lawyer. And I uh, my job is in the call center, uh, one link DPO. What is the name? One link DPO. Oh, one link. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what do you do in one link? Um, I work in uh, rela labor relations. Okay. How long have you worked there? Four years. Hmm. You're that's good before the pandemic, huh? Yes. <laughs> Great. Okay. Let's see. Tell me. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Great, and you? Great. And then me tell me, what do you do? What? What do you do? Uh, in this moment, I study the university. What do you study? Um, Tell me, what do you study? Is um, in how do you say uh, in industrial? Industrial engineering. Industrial engineer. Engineering. Engineering. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, it's great to meet everyone. I'm going to get to know you in just a moment. I'm going to explain first a little bit about this class. Okay. First, si en cualquier momento hablo demasiado rápido o no están seguro lo que estoy diciendo, it's okay. Está bien decir, hey, no entendí. Está bien decir, hey, lo puedes repetir. Para eso estamos, para apoyarlos, para ayudarles. No tengan temor. No tengan temor a que se van a equivocar. Ténganlo por seguro que se van a equivocar. Aceptenlo. Cuando acepten la realidad, se les va a ir quitando la pena. Se les va a ir quitando el miedo de equivocarse. Nadie los va a echar. No soy como Carla. No, no soy abogado. No, 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 o sea, no los voy a echar solo porque hagan mal trabajo. No, no, tranquilos. Mejor... Les voy a felicitar por hacer el esfuerzo. No se preocupen, ¿ok? Soy como Cecilia, un trabajador social. Así vamos a estar con todos, ¿verdad? Es eso, apoyándonos uno como otro. Exacto, ¿ok? De eso se trata. Así que no se preocupen, ¿ok? Entonces, yo voy a hablar en inglés. Voy a tratar que ustedes hablen lo más posible. Si ustedes se sienten asustados, incómodos, inseguros, pregunten, pregunten en español. Créeme, no los voy a regañar. A lo contrario, les voy a ayudar. Así como con Delmi. Le voy a decir, ah, engineering, les voy a ayudar, ¿ok? Así que, tranquilos. Entonces, vamos a empezar viendo cómo es que está estructurado esto para todos los que son nuevos, los que no han trabajado anteriormente con inglés cooperativo. Eso es lo primero que vamos a hacer para que todos sepamos cómo funciona la plataforma. Antes de iniciar, hay alguien que nunca ha trabajado en línea eh, con inglés cooperativo, hay alguien que esta es la primera vez que trabaja en línea, Cecilia, ok, 
Ya uh, dice sí. También, ok, Carlos. Ah, perfecto. No hay, no hay problema. Con uno que sea nuevo, yo le explico a todos. Voy a compartir mi pantalla para que estén seguros que estemos viendo todo lo mismo y todos están en el grupo correcto. Ok. Este es Free Intermediate. Los voy a mover un poquito. Free Intermediate Módulo 2. Free Intermediate Module 2. Entonces, Free Intermedio 2. Para que estén seguros que están en el grupo correcto, el cual deberían de estar si todos tuvieron un correo inscribiéndolo en este curso. En este curso tenemos varias actividades que hay que hacer. Cada. Voy a minimizar esto. Ok. Cada, le, cada unidad tiene varias lecciones. Aquí pueden ver todas las lecciones que hay en la unidad 1. Hay un total de cinco unidades. En esas cinco unidades, cada uno está así como la unidad 1, que está, hay varias lecciones. Hay dos exámenes que tenemos. Hay un examen después de la sección 3, que se llama Midterm, y que compone de que todo es de la unidad de la sección 1, 2 y 3. Todo lo que vemos en la sección 1, 2 y 3 lo vemos en el midterm. Después tenemos otro examen a finalizar la sección 5. Ese examen de la sección 5 igual se llama final exam, examen final, y es de todas las cinco unidades. Entonces, el examen de medio ciclo es tres unidades y el ex último examen es de las cinco unidades. ¿Alguien sabe cuánto es la nota mínima para poder pasar de este nivel? Ocho. Ochenta. Ocho. Exacto. Muy bien, Carlos. Ocho, ochenta. Exacto. ¿Y cómo pueden saber cómo va su progreso? Aquí ustedes ven, hay varias opciones. Ustedes van a tener las tres opciones menos la opción de instructor, pero las otras tres van a tener. En la parte donde dice pro progress, progreso, van a poder ver van a poder ver cómo va cada unidad, la unidad 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5, cómo va el promedio de sus tareas, el promedio de su examen de medio ciclo y el examen final. ¿Okay? Aquí pueden ver la sección 1, pueden ver que tenemos tres actividades evaluadas y estas tres actividades nos dan el 100% de la nota. Pero en la sección 2 tenemos cuatro actividades evaluadas y el promedio de las cuatro nos da esa nota y así dependiendo de la unidad hay algunas unidades que tenemos más por ejemplo en esta sección de midterm hay cinco y las cinco nos va a dar una nota ¿Okay? la nota como había mencionado el compañero es de 80 80 de promedio lo bueno es que en este curso si usted saca mala nota Puede repetir la, el ejercicio. No es necesario quedarse solo con esa nota. Puede sacarlo y hacerlo nuevamente hasta que saca 8 o puede seguir al siguiente a tener un promedio de 8. No sé si hay alguna consulta o pregunta o duda en este momento. No, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ok, creo que todos estamos bien hasta este momento, entonces. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sí. Good evening. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Laura Mauricio. Hello, Laura. Um, I have a question. I, I, I was, I'm inscribed. Me, me, lo voy a decir en español. Yo me había inscrito al módulo 3. Y este enlace que me mandaron. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have the same problem. I'm sorry. Okay. ¿Quién? Ok. Laura, ¿quién más? Sí. Eh, en mi caso también. Christy, my case. Christy, Cecil yeah. y Eneida. Era módulo 3. Mm -hmm. yes. No era yeah. módulo 2. Eh, yo también. Sí, yo sí, sí, sí. tengo 3. Ok. Es... Yo también, teacher. Ok, no hay problema. Todo tiene solución. Y ahorita lo solucionamos. Yeah. <risa> Yo quiero. 
yo también quiero. Ah, conmigo no puedo. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Okay. En este momento no contestan, deben estar ocupados viendo en todas las otras clases, pero no se preocupen, lo que podemos hacer es en el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor manden esta información, por ejemplo, su nombre, porque yo sé que en varios de ustedes el WhatsApp no aparece su nombre, sino que hay algunos que aparece un otro nombre, símbolos, cosas así, entonces... En el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor pongan eh, su nombre y en qué grupo deben de estar. ¿Ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, ahí aparece, eh, no sé, eh, Ana Cristín. Entonces ella pone, ah, debería de estar inscrita en el módulo 3. Y así van a hacer los cambios y le voy a decir a la persona para que puedan ver la persona encargada, que es Jonathan Guzmán, el, el administrador o Jason Bautista, para que ellos puedan... Eh, arreglar la situación e inscribirlos en el curso correcto. Uh -huh. Es que sí, y, igual, y siempre era en este horario, ¿correcto? Sí, de 8 a 9. Ok. Sí, de 8 a 9. Ok, ok, perfecto. Pregunto porque tengo, yo tengo módulo 3, pero de 9 a 10, no de 8 a 9. Entonces, tal vez va a ser con otro, otro docente, pero igual van a ser las mismas instrucciones. El 80% de nota, trabajar en la plataforma, eh, las secciones que son evaluadas, la asistencia eh, no es tan importante como los ejercicios, como las actividades que hacen. ¿Y cuáles son las actividades evaluadas? Son los que tienen el símbolo de cuaderno que puede ver aquí. Se llaman Knowledge Check. Knowledge check son todos los que usted es obligación hacer. Knowledge check y knowledge check, porque ahí es donde sacan sus notas. Pero para hacer el knowledge check, tienen que ver los videos y ver el contenido para que no se les vayan a confundir y no se vayan a equivocar a la hora de hacerlos. Entonces, por eso es, las tres o los cuatro knowledge checks de cada unidad son la obligación y la información para poder realizarlo se hace o se saca del contenido anterior a eso. Ok. Bueno, agradezco a todos, aunque deben de estar en la unidad 3. Inscribí. Uy, wow. Hay varios. Hay varios que están, deben de estar en la unidad 3. Entonces, hagamos algo. Nosotros continuamos hoy como que una clase normal y va, uh -huh. mientras arreglan lo para su situación para mañana. ¿Les parece? Sí, sí. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Antes de cambiar a totalmente a nuestra clase en inglés, la última pregunta, última duda, alguien que quiere aclarar algo en español. Lizette, ¿estás bien? ¿Sí? ¿Tenés COVID? No te preocupes, estamos en compu, tranquila. <risa> ¿Todo bien? No, solo, solo un poco de gripe, todo y un poco de fiebre, pero... Yeah. Ok, usted tranquila, no se preocupe, no la escuchamos, no vemos, no sentimos. Así andamos varios. Así andamos varios, sí. Mira, Delmi tomando galón de agua solo para que pueda respirar un poco también, tranquilo. Ok, entonces, si no hay consulta, ¿listos? Yes. All right. Excellent. Ok, guys. Well, let me tell you. A little bit. The first thing we're going to do is make small groups and we're going to get to know each other in the small groups. First, we're going to learn at today's objective. Here we have today's objective, okay, in this lesson, okay? And let's see in our group. Mauricio, can you please read the instructions? Oh, no, Mauricio is not. Mm -hmm. Mauricio is not in there. So, uh, Carlos, Carlos, can you please read the instructions? Yes. Um, it is lesson 
um, participants will listen to a conversation about about how of, often often they do activity. Correct. Is often how often? Correct. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to listen to a conversation. We're going to learn how to use how often the frequency. Okay, so here's our conversation. Let's listen. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? Can you hear? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. First, <coughs> are there any words you don't know? Any vocabulary? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Carlos, what is the question? Uh, what the meaning is a uh, real couch potato? The real couch potato is the expression for the person lazy, the person <laughs> not working, the person watching TV only. This is real couch potato. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, let's practice the conversation. Lisette, can you please be Marie? Daniel, can you please be Paul? Okay. <clears throat> Is you really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up, uh, get up early, and I live wait for an hour. Teacher, esa palabra no lo puedo pronunciar. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, la segunda Seriously? de Mary. Seriously. 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 Yes, seriously. Ah, yeah. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Sure, and, and then I often go in line skating. How, how often do you exercise like that? that? <clears throat> about five times a week. What about you? <clears throat> oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV and my free time. And wait, I am real close to today. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Lisa. Relax, relax, Lisa. Whew, drink the water. It's okay. Good, Lisa. Good. All right. So, as you can see, the question that we're going to practice is how often? What do you do? Right? Do you exercise? These are the questions that we're going to practice in a moment with our partner. Okay. So, in this moment, we're going to make small groups and we're going to practice. What are the questions that we practice? Okay. For the sports, for example, okay. What sports do you like? Okay. To practice. And the question is how often do you depend the partner? Okay. Depend the, an the, the answer from your partner. How often do you? And then you complete. As an example, I say to, um, to Eneida, Eneida, what sports do you like to practice? Um, 
I do not practice sport. No sports in Nada. So in Nada is going to use the expression. Ah, how do you say, what is the expression? We learned the conversation. What is the expression? Couch potato. Correct. So Enela is going to say, I'm a real couch potato. Uh -huh. It's a nice way to say, soy aragana, no me gusta levantarme de ver tele. <laughs> es, that's it. It's the same way. It's okay, Enela. Uh -huh. Only Netflix and YouTube. That's okay. And TikTok, pues sí, porque <laughs> veo algo joven, así que me imagino que TikTok también debe estar allí. Uh -huh. Un poquito de Instagram, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ah, cree que no. Exactly. So that's the idea. <laughs> so we're going to practice with our partners. It's okay? Yeah. Yes. yes? Okay. Yes. So let's practice just a few moments with our partners and let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only we practice three minutes. Only three minutes. Van a recibir una invitación, tienen que ser aceptar. Solo clic aceptar. Everson, tenés que poner aceptar para unirte al grupo. I, I, have a, I have a little problems with my cell phone because I cannot listen very good. Ah, okay, okay. Can you repeat? You have to hit accept, accept to join the group. Te voy a mover a un grupo, tenés que poner aceptar. Okay, okay. Okay, let's look at some examples. Yancy, tell me about your partner. Okay, about Carlo Membrane. Okay. Um, I remember. And he likes to practice 
Um, I I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't pay attention. It's okay. No me importó. No le puse atención. It's okay. Oh, and it's okay. Talk, Pero when I excuse, I don't remember. Monkeys. It's okay. <laughs> no, está bien. Está bien la razón. I don't remember. Uh -huh. yes, it's okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Lisette, you have a question. What is the question? Ah, no, 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 Lisette. This is number two. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Karen, Karen, Elisa, tell us about your partner. Con Stephanie Rosales, estuvo. Las preguntas que hicimos eran: How often do you cook? Yes, but tell me, tell me about Stephanie. For example, um, Stephanie likes to play soccer. Stephanie goes practice every weekend. Uh, Stephanie, I never go to the gym. Stephanie never goes to the gym. Yes. Stephanie is a couch potato. Yes. Ah, yes. Imagínate, Aragana, huevona. Okay, okay, no problem. I got okay, Stephanie, all right. Okay, good. All right, let's see. Uh, um, Adelaida, Adelaida, tell us about your partner. Hello. I like to play soccer with my downstairs. Uh -huh, but no you, your partner. Oh, no lo hicimos. No lo hicieron. <laughs> oh, interesante. ¿Qué hicieron? Estábamos en lo, eh, traduciendo la oración. <laughs> ¿Qué, qué ¿La oración? <laughs> la pregunta, la pregunta, ¿no? Eh, Teníamos dudas, eh, bueno, había alguien que tenía dudas en qué significaba sports. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué, qué averiguaron? Sí, sí. Deporte, un deporte que le gusta practicar. ¿Y cuál es? Eh, no, no lo dijeron porque se acabó el tiempo y no salió. Mm, o sea, tres minutos para una palabra. Mm, hay que ponerle más empeño. Ok, no, ok. Yes. Thank you, teacher. No, thank you, thank you. Y excelente lección. ¿Se acuerdan cuando dije? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Alguna pregunta? Y todos. ¿Y qué pasó? Perdieron la oportunidad de practicar en inglés. Perdieron la oportunidad. Entonces, no tengan pena, porque aquí eso que perdieron los tres minutos, yo lo hubiera solucionado en unos segundos y hubieran tenido la oportunidad de hablar con sus compañeros en inglés. Así que si tienen miedo, si tienen duda, no se preocupen. Es normal tener miedo. Es normal sentirse... No quiero preguntar porque todos van a pensar que yo no sé. Usted no sabe. No tenga pena si es la realidad. ¿Cuál es el problema? Yo no sé y pregunto. Ok. Let's continue. Let's see what we have next. The next activity is continue for the sports. Ok. Right here. Stephanie, please read the instructions. Okay. By the end of this lesson, of this session, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you will learn how to ask and answer question using ad adverbs of frequen frequency. 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 Excellent. What are adverbs of frequency? Adverbs of frequency are, for example, these often, sometimes, hardly ever. Never, every day, once a week. These are adverbs of frequency, okay? Now, adverbs of frequency is for the, the time. The adverb of frequency, tell us the time, okay? The question, how often, is for asking the frequency. Let's listen to the video. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. 
I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb. So the idea is always the adverb of frequency is before the action, before the activity. I always watch TV. I never play baseball. It's always before the verb, the adverb of frequency. Plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. Okay, as you see, sometimes is the only one that is different. Sometimes can have three positions. Before the verb, at the beginning of the sentence, or at the end of the sentence. But only sometimes. The others, no. Only sometimes. How about you? Okay. First, let's look at the adverbs of frequency. Do you understand this vocabulary every day, once a week? It's okay, the vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Okay. What is hardly mm. ever? What is hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi Excellent. nunca. Excellent. Good. Perfect. And what is twice a month? Dos veces al mes. Dos veces al mes. Okay. Exactly. Igual como pagan en El Salvador. Twice a month in muchos lugares. That's mm. twice a month. Excellent. Good. Now, we're going to practice asking and answering our partners. We are going to do two activities, okay? Here we have 10 questions, okay? We are going to do two. First, we're going to look and read the instructions. Let's take a look. Um, Carla, can you please read the instructions? With the following poems, uh, choose the response in which the adverbs in brackets is placed correctly. Good. So, for example, here, do you play sports? This word ever, which is correct? Number one, number two, or number three? Do you play sports number ever? One. Which is correct? Number one. Number one. Number one. Do you ever play sports? Excellent. And now you complete numbers two through 10 with your partner, okay? So first we complete with the partner and then we check. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm sorry, teacher. Ready? I'm ready. Any questions? No. We're going to have access to that, that exercise. It's in your platform. But we have access to platform. Uh, level three. Okay, then no. We're going to have access, right? Level two. Let me. Tendríamos que entrar entonces al al módulo este intermedio dos. Yeah, I see. Okay, let's 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 correct. 
Los que están en intermedio en módulo 3, o maybe un módulo es Grinch. Ajá, un screen y lo trabajamos yes. así. Yes, todos los que dicen que módulo 3 es que ya, ya hicieron el módulo 2. Yes. Yes. Mm. Entonces, mejor todavía, porque como ya lo hicieron, ni lo tienen que ver, ¿verdad? Se lo aprendieron. <risa> <risa> lo estudiaron. Sí, so. <risa> pues sí, ¿verdad? Ya están en tres, ya están en el tres. Ajá, ok. All right. Let me see. Ceci, do you have a question? Cecilia, you have, es que estás en silencio, está en mute, Ceci. The microphone. Ceci, tu micrófono okay. está. Okay. Sí, es que es primera vez que estoy en estas clases y esa vivencia anterior no la tengo. Ah, sí. ok, ok. No, mm -hmm. no hay problema, Ceci. Ceci y, y vos estás en el grupo correcto, Ceci. Estás en el no. No. no, me dijeron que estaba en pre-intermedio 3, módulo 3, también. También, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero me habían hecho un examen antes. Sí, 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 porque para uh -huh. eh, examen de ubicación. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Bueno, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es, como algunos tienen accesos y otros no, lo vamos a hacer juntos. Vamos a tomar diferentes personas. Entonces, yo voy a decir el nombre de la primera persona. Y esa persona va a contestar y va a decir el nombre de la siguiente persona que va a contestar. ¿Les parece? Okay. Así que estamos seguros que todos estamos viendo la información. No problem. Ok. All right. Let me see. Um, alguien que no ha participado. Harold. Hey, ok. Harold. Harold number two. Um, three. Read it. Go ahead. Read. Option three. Just read the sentence. See, sí, yes. Sure, I uh, play soccer twice a week. Okay, good. All right, who's next, Harold? Um, um, Jancy Magin. Okay. What do you do on Saturday? What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Okay. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? The first. The first one. I see it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jancy. Who's number four, Jancy? Um, Veronica. Veronica. Yes. Okay. All right, Veronica. Okay. Uh, nothing much. I sleep until noon. <coughs> the correct answer is that two. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Sorry, Veronica. Casi no se te escucha nada. Bien suave, pero intenta. The answer is the second. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Okay, good, Veronica. Thank you. Who's next, Veronica? Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos Mendreño. Carlos Mendreño, okay. The question number five. Correct. Do you do aerobics at the gym? Um, and the answer is the... Number three. Do you often... I know. Do you often do... No. 
Number two, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Okay, do you often do? Thank you. All right, who's next? Daniel Martinez. Okay, Daniel Martinez. No, I do aerobics. Okay, is part three? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay. Who's number seven? Lisette Esmeralda. Okay, Lisette Esmeralda. Do you exercise on Sunday? Option two. Uh -huh. Go ahead, read it. Yes. <clears throat> okay, do you exercise on Sunday always? Yes. Yeah. Okay, who's number eight? Mm. Janet. Janet. Number eight. Okay. Yeah. Number eight. No, I uh, exercise on Sunday. No, I never exercise on Sundays. Okay. Good, Janet. Who's number nine? Adelaida, 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 okay. No, three, what do you usually? Go ahead, Adelaida, read it. What do you usually you do after class? Okay. What do you, number three? Yes. Okay. And who's the last one? Who is number 10, Adelaida? Delmi. Delmi, okay. I go what with my classmates. Uh, number one. Uh-huh. Go ahead, tell me, about, read it. Mm -hmm. About three times a week, go what with my classmates. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, it's okay. We have some mistakes, but it's okay. Let's look. You can see. We have a few mistakes, okay? Let's try together. Number one, two, three, and four, correct, and five. Look, let's look at number seven. What is number seven? What is the correct number seven? Number one. Number one. Number one. Do you always, Do you always exercise always? on Sundays? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Okay. Exactly. What about number nine? What is for number nine? What do you do? you use for after class? Uh, number one. Number one. Number one. Okay, number one. What do you usually do after class? Mm -hmm. And number 10, what is the number correct? Three. Number, number three. three. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, let's look. Hey, excellent. Okay, you see? Now it's correct. All the questions are correct. Okay, any questions? No. No. Okay, in this moment, we are going to make groups and we're going to discuss with our partners what activities what activities do you like to do, okay? So what activities do you like to do? As an example, I 
I like to read books and listen to music. I listen to a lot of music. Every day, I listen to one hour of music on Spotify. I like to listen to music in English, okay? I always listen to music when I am walking or taking a shower, okay? Se fijan como use el adverb of frequency? Yes. Cuando estoy describiendo mis actividades, que me gusta, lo pongo. I always listen to music when I walk. I sometimes uh, go swimming with my friends. I always, whatever you like, okay? You ready to practice? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Any vocabulary? Any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Let's ask and answer our partners.
Okay. Any questions? Teacher. Yes, Ana. Eh, yo entré tarde porque yo vengo de la universidad. Saliendo de la universidad estaba cuando entré a clases. Yo tengo clases de cinco a ocho y media, por eso entré un poquito tarde. It's okay. No problem. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Ya, ya me solucionaron el, el inconveniente. No hay ningún problema. Okay. So here we have, para todos, here we have is module three, pre intermedio, módulo tres. It's okay? Okay, teacher. It will be this group. Yes. So with you? Yes, with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Bravo. Uh -huh. You see? We did it. Exactly. In the moment, baby. Yeah. And, 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 and you look like book killer. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's why maybe we resolve the problems. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let me show with screen. The correct one, the, the same is the activity, 80%, the same the, is necessary, the knowledge check, the other is the same. Only the activities we change. Here is, we're going to watch a small video, okay? Let's watch the small video first. Okay. Teacher. Hi, welcome to this new section. Yes? One question. Yes, Jacqueline. Del, del tema anterior. Okay. En las respuestas, ¿Dónde va el, el, el adverbio de frecuencia? Before the activity. I always study. I never eat. I sometimes go before the verb. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Here we're looking at a conversation to describe the city. Is there any vocabulary you don't know? Fairly, teacher. Fairly. It's a fairly big fairly. city. It's so-so. So fairly is like so-so, more or less. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Como un más o menos una gran ciudad. Or... Correct. Mm -hmm. Any other vocabulary? Teacher in reasonable. Reasonable. Ah, reasonable. It's like in Spanish. Razonable. Correct. Mm -hmm. Teacher and I should. I should is a recommendation. I should plan a trip. Is the recommend. Debería. Sí, debería. Debería. Mm -hmm. Es un modal, ¿verdad? Like what? Es un modal. Yes, 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 correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's for recommendation, the model for recommend. Mm -hmm. The others are okay? It's okay. All right, excellent. So let's, con let's continue with the adverbs. Let's listen and learn more adverbs so we can practice tomorrow. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. 
Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a Okay. All of these are adverbs. Extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat. All of them, they go here. Really nice. Fairly big is before the adjectives. The idea is to describe it. Okay. So for example, here we have the examples. Her car is very expensive is before the adjective. My brother is very tall is before the adjective. It means very, a lot. Okay. So always the adverbs before the adjectives. It's okay. And teacher, repeat, please. Okay. The adjectives, the adverbs here, and the adverbs before the adjective, before nice, before big, before pretty, is before the adjectives. Before the description is the adverbs. Okay, so my brother is tall. Ah, and the adverb very. So the very before tall. Here, you see very before expensive. Okay. Her the car is expensive. Expensive, the adjective. So we use very to describe it. Always is before. The dress is big. Ah, the dress is too big. It's okay, the idea for the adverbs? This vocabulary is okay? Extremely, very, really? Somewhat, what would be the... What? I don't correct. Know. Mm -hmm. Somewhat? Mm, somewhat. The last one? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A little is like... Someone is uh, a little. Mm, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. Tomorrow we practice to use the adverbs and we practice to use the adjectives. Okay. 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 It's already, it's time for us to finish, but thank you so much for coming. And I see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. so thank, thank you, guys. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.